Hello, hello. Welcome back to Heal and Ascend to Row. I hope that all of you guys are doing really well. I am just going to do a quick reading for you, okay? Um, <clears throat> twin flame reading. It is going to be very quick, okay? Um, because I have a bunch of personalized readings that I need to get to today. So thank you all who have booked within the past couple of days. Um, if you want to book with me, head over to healandascentarow.com. The link is down below. Okay, the one thing that I did just want to say to you guys, sort of um, tying into what I said yesterday about, um, you know, your thoughts, you know, make sure you're focused on what you want, not the lack of it. Um, keep your thoughts positive. I will say this, there's going to be times within this connection where you're going to doubt your mind's going, your, your mind is going to tell you that things are a certain way because you're looking at the physical world. You're focused on the physical world and seeing things. You have to trust in the fifth dimensional reality. And that's not always easy because we've grown up as physical beings and we've grown up being taught that we are only physical. And so now as we're spiritually evolving, we're understanding that we're no, we're spiritual beings first and we've been put on this physical plane so if you can remember that that you're spiritual first and you have a connection you have a soul connection whether you're physically tied together at this point in time or not your souls are connected okay um so when you're losing faith just remember that okay so I'm just going to do a quick read and we're not going to go into headspace, heart space. We're literally just going to see how is divine feminine feeling about divine masculine and then how is divine masculine feeling about divine feminine. And we're going to see if there's going to be any action or movement. Okay. So this is a general reading goes without saying, but um, if this doesn't resonate with you within the first few minutes, it might not be for you. These readings are timeless though. So be sure to check back in a later date. Do you guys see that? See that just jump? Okay, we're gonna take them. So, <clears throat> Divine Masculine. Look at this, guys. We have the Two of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Hermit. So, I'm gonna clarify. All right, Spirit, let's clarify what's going on here, okay? Yeah, be okay. I see what's going on. Yep. Interesting. <laughs> wow, wow, okay. Um, so what I'm seeing here is with the Two of Cups clarified by the Two of Wands in reverse, this is Divine Masculine realizing that they didn't take action on this connection, okay? Um, two of Wands in reverse is, you know, having an idea but really not making any movement. Now, this is very interesting because I do feel like, for those of you that this is going to resonate with, there was an opportunity for a new, um, a new beginning here, but it's looking like someone said no, walked away, and I feel like Divine Masculine is feeling a lot of guilt and shame. They're kind of focused on all of the, the cups that have spilled over and not seeing that, look, Look, these two cups probably still remain. Those are the two cups. Look at that. The two cups still remain, but they're focused on the fact that, you know, maybe, you know, this is a, this is sort of the crying over spilled milk type of card. Um, you know, what's done is done, you know, but turn around. There's an opportunity right there. Okay. They are keeping an eye on you. And what I will say is they're seeing you very abundantly. They're seeing that you have, um, you've got your shit together here. Okay. They're definitely keeping an eye on you in terms of electronically, um, over the internet, that kind of thing. We have the hermit card here. So they're definitely going within, which is amazing because it's clarified by the death in reverse so they're going through a huge transformation um in regards to thinking about this connection and what it means okay all right let's see what we have here so divine masculine is thinking about divine feminine self-worth forgiveness exactly and surrender so this is beautiful um i feel like divine masculine is really taking this time for the, through this deep transformation to work on their self-worth, okay? And as they do that, they're starting to learn how to forgive themselves, and I feel like they're really thinking, um, because this is how they feel about towards their Divine Feminines, so they're hoping that their Divine Feminine will forgive them. I feel like Divine Masculine is now ready to surrender. Um, a lot of Divine Masculines have been holding in their emotions, keeping things very uh, tight and close to them, <clears throat> and now they're kind of ready to, you know, let go of that. You know, I feel like this is going to happen right after 
after the Steve transformation. I definitely feel like Divine Masculines, again, we are seeing yesterday, I don't know if the energies are tying over, I feel like this could be a different set of you, but it still might resonate with some of you. Um, we are seeing, though, that that solitude card was coming up a lot. Um, Divine Masculine is really taking that time to, to think about what's going on here, okay? Um, <clears throat> and I feel like in that time alone, they're going to come to some realizations that's going to allow them to just finally surrender to uh, the process and to surrender to, you know, probably what the universe has been pushing them to do forever. Um, well, not forever, but, you know, recently. What they've been called to do but have been ignoring right because a lot of the divine masculines are getting the signs about their divine feminines but they're just ignoring them all right so let's see how divine feminine is feeling about divine masculine we're viewing divine masculine. let's look at divine feminine's point of view Yeah, okay, so we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Hierophant, Six of Cups in Reverse, and the High Priestess in Reverse. So yeah, Divine Feminines are definitely wanting a new passionate opportunity, and they were, they're wanting commitment, okay? Um, because they're having a hard time letting go of the past here with the Six of Cups. This is someone who really can't let go. Um, I do feel like there are some secrets here, though, we're going to clarify. So they could, Divine Feminines, you guys could be hiding secrets. Um, or keeping secrets, rather, or you're seeing your Divine Masculine as keeping secrets. Let's clarify and see what we have here. Yeah, so, I mean, Divine Feminines don't want to be alone anymore. They don't want to be single, okay? Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you want commitment. There's the Two of Cups. Beautiful. See how beautiful that comes out like that? Okay, yeah, see... There's this energy here of Divine Feminines not being able to let go, um, feeling very stuck in their thoughts. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, feeling very much stuck in their thoughts because they're having a hard time releasing this because they want this new passion, opportunity, and commitment. All right, and then we have the Hierophant out again. Okay, so I feel like there might be some secrets around the fact that Divine Feminines are hiding from their Divine Masculines that they do want commitment with them. Okay, so if this is resonating with you, we're going to pull some Twin Flame Oracle cards and see what else we can get on this. Like I said, guys, sorry, this is a really short reading. I just have a lot of personalized readings I have to get to today. But I did want to offer you something um, that you can take with you if it does resonate. So we have summer, okay? So something could be coming up. I think this card has been coming up a lot lately. So I do feel like maybe you guys met in the summer or this is gonna, this opportunity is going to come um, in the summer for you guys. So this opportunity for commitment might come around in the summertime, all right? We have healing in reverse. Very interesting. I don't usually read these cards in reverse, um, <clears throat> but possibly that means that Divine Feminines still have more healing work to do. Okay, and then we have compromise in reverse. Yeah, I don't usually read in reverse, but we're going to. Um, there could be a lack of compromise, okay? Divine feminines might have too much of an expectation on their divine masculines at this point in time. So it is, you know, it is calling for um, <clears throat> to really think about and evaluate what, where the balance is within this connection. And then we have barrier, okay? So there is some sort of a barrier. You're feeling like there's a barrier to this connection, which I'm going to clarify right now. So, because this is how Divine Feminine is feeling about Divine Masculine. So we have the Empress and we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So that to me is indicating that there's probably a karmic that you're viewing and you're seeing that as a barrier to the connection, okay? Because we have, I would feel like this is you, the Empress, and then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So to me, the barrier is, is um, most likely a karmic situation, okay? There's two people here, okay? Um, <clears throat> all right, so if that resonates... Let's see what action is going to be taken um, from your Divine Masculine, okay? Because I'm going to be assuming that the majority of you um, probably aren't in communication or aren't um, with your Divine Masculine considering the fact that you're wanting commitment. So I'm assuming you don't have the commitment because I don't think you'd be here listening to this, all right? Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's go action is divine masculine is going to take towards divine feminine. We have the queen of pentacles, judgment, four of cups, and the moon in reverse. Okay, let's clarify. 
Jasmine is soon going to be seeing things differently with the judgment card. It's like all of a sudden I feel like they're going to have this sort of epiphany um, and see things differently. We're going to clarify though and see what's going on here. I feel like secrets are going to be coming to light at some point though within this connection. Okay, so Divine Masculine, I feel, is going to start moving towards you. We do have the Knight of Pentacles, but they're moving really slowly. So they might have already started moving towards you. <clears throat> um, you might not see anything, though, because it is super slow. Yeah, um, healing work is being done right now for the Divine Masculine. I'm getting here that Divine is working with them to heal. And so judgment will be called here. Judgment will be made on the situation. Beautiful, yeah. So I feel like in the past, Divine Masculine did turn down an offer from you, probably that offer of commitment, and now they're wanting to swoop in and actually tell you the truth of the matter. With the moon in reverse, we have the two of wands, okay? Um, <clears throat> Divine Masculine does know that they're going to have to bring these secrets, <laughs> I'm like air quoting, um, these secrets to light. I feel like a lot of these secrets... You probably already know just because you're an intuitive feminine, but they probably don't know that you know, right? So they're thinking about the fact that, okay, I'm going to have to start telling Divine Feminine this. So they are thinking about ways in which they can do this. So they're like strategizing right now of how they can, um, you know, bring up these secrets without sort of tearing up the connection completely. Okay, so we're going to close out with what Divine Masculine wants you to know. All right, Spirit, what does Divine Masculine want? Divine Feminine to know. Okay. We have, if I knew what I know now, I would have made different choices. I feel like that one has been coming up a lot lately. So Divine Masculine is saying, though, I still need more time to figure things out, okay? So I am getting called to say, you know, listen, Divine Masculine, they're, they're working on it. They're going in. They're, they're transforming. They're in hermit mode right now. But just give them some time. I feel like that they're still needing that time to sort things out in their life. But look at this. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. Did I not just say that to you guys? That Divine Masculine has been getting signs from the universe, but they've been ignoring them? <laughs> so literally they're saying I can't ignore the signs any longer and then we have your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time yeah divine masculine is seeing this as like an irresistible connection they can't wait any longer um, and they are going to come forward but they're just saying you know what I still need some time I do see movement though we have two nights so I really see like in terms of action they are going to come forward <clears throat> just don't be too um, closed minded when it comes to the time frame don't be too rigid in the time frame um, you know focus on the connection focus on them coming forward but be open to the timeline okay um, and you know for you as well take the signs that the universe is showing you the universe is going to show you if you're on the right path or not okay so ask for help ask for guidance all right i hope this was very helpful for all of you if you want to book a reading with me head over to healingacentero.com other than that i am sending you love and light and i wish you all of the best on your journeys bye